My precious, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Galadriel, an intuitive tarot reader, clairsentient and clairvoyant. Welcome to the Tarot of Galadriel. All right, let us start, my darlings. Today's theme is a special message from the universe, a message that you meant to find. And I have three options for you, three choices. Let me present you your options, your crystals. Pile one, you have a god. Gorgeous pattern we have here. Very beautiful stone. Pile two, you have carnelian. The stone for passion, fire, carnelian. Pile three, you have rose quartz heart. All right, so make your choice and I will proceed. Let me set the protection and clear the space with a Palo Santo. I call upon my guides, your guides, my high self, your high self, our spirit teams, our guardian angels for the protection, love, grace, clarity, compassion, wealth, health, abundance, and prosperity. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. And we are ready to proceed with our pile one option one my precious welcome 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 if your choice is this agat and this deck welcome this is your reading our theme is a special message from the universe and i would like to start with this oracle deck this is the energy oracle deck guys i will link all decks within the description box below within the description box below so if you are interested of course so let's see what you have angel of love all right and we have journey on the bottom and we have number 249 all right it feels like let me keep it so it feels like you are about to embark on a romantic adventure so feels like there is love around you there is a person who wants to be around you there is a person who holds this love towards you this person has deep care for you this person cares deeply about you there is a chance that this person is at the distance with this number two and the journey card and I feel this person is planning to come closer to you. Again, this might be a physical distance or this might be an emotional distance. For all of you, this person wants to cross this distance to come close to you for some very specific reason. And let's see what that would be. The journey feels like Aries and Sagittarius to me. And Angel of Love feels like water signs, energies. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this person might hold within these energies. The journey. It feels like this person is packing their bag or planning, planning next date if this person is somewhat around you. So feels like with the journey energy, this person most likely looking into their schedule, into the future, into their next off day or weekend or something. So what else do we have for you? We have the Queen of Cups. This is what I felt when I looked at the Angel of Love, Queen of Cups energy or, you know, the Cups, Cups energies of water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel from this card, Venus return energies. Do you remember the art piece, famous art piece? A beautiful Venus or Aphrodite that's standing right in the middle of the shell. Uh, and I do have shells like this right here. So 
It feels like someone is coming back or returning to a place or to a person or to a connection. So it feels like you will see this person or you will hear from this person very soon. And there was some connection or there is some connection in between both of you guys. I strongly feel this person loves you or holds some, some kind of feelings within, deep appreciation. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a family member. But it feels like this person will re-enter or enter your life very, very soon. Right? This person misses you, longs for you. Right? And yeah, this is something very wonderful. This is something very heartwarming. You would be surprised, I feel, maybe for some of you, but you definitely would be excited to hear this news or you would be excited to see them. So let's see what else we have for you. We have three wands and again, planning stage. This person is planning right now. Traditionally, three of wands is the card of a traveler. Uh, who is waiting for their ships to come, for his ships to come. And we have the ship right here. It feels like this person has a date, a specific date on their mind or a specific time. Do you remember I told you about the, um, the, the, the weekend times, about the days of time? So this person is looking into their schedule to create time to be with you, to meet you, to travel towards you. So it's already in motion. It's happening already, you guys. And we have the page of wands. This person is watching you from afar. We have a lens right here, right? This person, I feel, has this excitement within with this red cape energy. I feel butterflies in their stomach. I feel the excitement because most likely this person knows that you would be positively surprised, right? This person wants to see your reaction, your, I don't know, joy or happiness. Let's say this person will call you, FaceTime you, and would give you this news, right, about them coming towards you or traveling towards you. This person, I, I would say for some of you, this person will record this moment, when you will receive news to memorize uh, digitally your reaction, right? So it feels like, yeah, this is something that's happening very, very soon. And let me get one card for this deck as well. This is Archangel Oracle deck. What else we have for you? Let's see. And we have patience. This person was very, very patient. I feel strongly you haven't seen them seen them for a really long time. So it's been a long time coming situation. Patience we have. You you have been patient, this person was patient. Uh, we have Archangel. You feel your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still they need nurturing and patience. And I feel this is on their part. This was their wish. This was their dream. They, they uh, visualized this event many times, right? And now, and now they're very close to this wish fulfillment. Dreams are blooming more rapidly, which means that they already know that they will see you. It's already in motion. Things are moving behind the scenes, but still they have to exercise patient, patience. They have to nurture this, this situation through, let's say, um, buying a ticket or, you know, booking um, a, a hotel or, you know, investing into this situation by organizing some activity. If it's a date night or date uh, day situation or something like that. So patience and nurture. So let me look into this very person. It feels like it's something important for all of you. For both of you, right? For their 
side and for your side of the situation. Let's look a little bit deeper into this very person. But feels like for many of you, you already know who this is. If this is the case, please do share in the comments. Who is this person? <laughs> so let's look into this person. We have six of wands. So we ha and we have strength. Yes, we have Leo energy. So this person might hold within strong fire placements. We have Leo energy. We have someone who is connected to you through the social media with the six of wands. Both of you are in the public eye, and I feel this is an energy of social media connection, right? So this is someone who, uh, who is quite creative, confident with the fire and Leo energy, uh, an, an adventurous soul. We have adventurous spirit, well-traveled person. We have, again, creative person, confident in their self-expression, most likely you connected with this person through creativity. For some of you, this might be a long distance connection and this person is about to travel towards you for the very first time. And with the Six of Wands, we have an energy of connecting through social media or through some uh, internet platform or something like that. With the Strength, we have them being very attractive, or at least this is how you see them. And I feel there is this attraction on both ends of situation. You are attracted to this person as well. So let's get one more card for this person. And we have the star. That was your wish, I feel, as well, to see them, to meet them, to have a conversation with them. The star, another confirmation that this is someone who is at a distance from you, right? The star, Aquarius energy we have as well. We have a communication through, through your technological device or something like that. The star, as well, I feel you might share similar interests. You might have something in common like like a hobby, and I feel that was a point of connection with this very person. So to sum this message up, guys, there is a person, you like this person, they like you, there's attraction on both sides. So this person is um, making plans to see you, to, to spend some time with you, to travel towards you, Right, it's a surprise. This person is anticipating your reaction. Most likely that would be recorded. <laughs> this person is very patient because this whole situation needed some nurture, patience, investments, and you know, may maybe um, perseverance if it's something like travel plans. This person needed some time, you know, to to to, to take care of all that. So this is someone who is very attractive, confident, most likely has some fire within and water as well. Well-traveled person would be traveling towards you. And Venusian energy we have with this Venus return energy of the Queen of Cups. I feel this is you. So they see you as someone who is very feminine, very gentle, very... Um, I feel soft energy from you. Yes, they are attracted to your feminine soft energy. As well, you are very creative and you are emotionally available. That's for sure. So, there is a social media connection with this person. And there is a seed of love that has a tremendous potential to be developed into something more. Right? And for a small portion of you, this is your family member or a friend that you haven't seen for a really long time. And this person is about to surprise you with a surprise visit or something. All right, guys, this is your message from the universe. So feels like <laughs> I spilled the tea or spoiled the surprise. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if this is something that resonates with you. My darlings, if you like this reading, please do consider to hit the like button, to share. Maybe someone will benefit from this message, to subscribe. You're very welcome within the space and hit bell button so you will not lose me on your feed. 
to claim the energy and positivity of this reading, let's leave a pink heart emoji in the comments to connect to this energy of the angel of love, all right? My darlings, if you need private guidance, I'm open for bookings, so love to read for you. You can see, you can read private guidances, feedbacks, within the description as well. And if you are into love and relationships readings, I do have my first channel dedicated to those things. Link is within the description box below. So my darlings, this is your message. Congratulations, feels like you are about to experience some excitement because this, this is positive news. This is positive news for all of you, that's for sure. I'm so happy for you that you received this message. Thank you for being with me and I do send you lots of love. Bye, guys. My precious, welcome, welcome, welcome. If your choice is this carnelian, welcome. This is your reading. And our theme is a message meant to find you. A special message from the universe. So let's see what, what is this message. Let's see what you have, guys, for your message. So let us start with this oracle, energy oracle deck. And guys, I will link all decks cards that I use within the description. So let's start with your message. You have hostilities. Let's do two cards and the world. So, okay, the happy family we have on the bottom. So your message is of protection and um, moving on so with the hostilities and the world it feels like some cycle within your life is ending uh, the cycle that created some difficult energies around you of hostilities of competition so it's ending with the world card there's something about 26 and 29 i feel by the end of this month you will see the results. You will see evidence, tangible evidence in the form of, let's say, a letter, an offer, an opportunity, uh, information, or in the, in the form of right connection, right person, something like that I'm picking up on, especially if it's related to business environment or career environment, work environment. So you are leaving this situation and you are leaving the situation unharmed, right? Unharmed financially, maybe, or if it's uh, about reputation, so your reputation would be unharmed. And um, with the hostilities, it feels like people that have been hostile towards you, so they, they would receive feels like their karma with the world card. With the world, I feel energy that that is moving in a loop. What goes around comes around. It feels like what they send to you, they will receive it back. And you know how it would happen? It would happen if you will not respond accordingly to them, right? If you will not respond the way they... Uh, communicated with you right so the advice is to close the cycle without giving them back their own energy because the universe the world itself will take care of that situation disconnect without a reaction disconnect without a response and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Your luck is changing and a new path is opening for you with a full, right? It's a new start. 
it's a lucky change to have a new start as well i feel again we have we have a new chapter for you we have a new cycle for you we have the world and then immediately we have the full completion and new beginning and this new beginning would be a lucky one with the wheel of fortune a positive one a lucky chance a lucky strike or something like that a jackpot a win for some of you you will win a lottery for someone else you will find great deal or great position i feel a lucky break for you and then you start someplace else and i strongly feel for many of you it's uh, something that's related to your career or business so the environment would be changed that's for sure and it's yes the five of swords there was some competition some manipulation some toxicity with the source and the hostilities so you are ending the cycle you are ending the cycle and you're stepping away from that to have a new beginning for yourself you will receive this offer this opportunity this information that will allow you to move away from this hostile environment and that would be your lucky break, a lucky strike, or something like that. Luck is on your side. The wheel is turning, and a new start is given to you. A new passionate start with the carnelian energy. Where you would be able to express yourself creatively, right? So it feels like you are receiving an offer. An offer that you would not be able to turn down. Because within this offer, you will find everything that you want. I feel it's about some work position or business opportunity. And you would be able to express yourself creatively. And luck would be on your side. And that would be a new start for you with a world card. A new start for you. Let's dive into the hostilities. Yes, five of pentacles, you haven't been appreciated within this environment underpaid maybe you know neglected or ignored had no promotions no growth and it's ending you don't have to be this way you don't have to be there so you are ending the cycle once and for good we have the king of cups feels like you will receive this offer from a king of cups could be water sign pisces cancer scorpio as or someone who is kind and generous and loving who sees your potential who intuitively will see your potential who would sense your skills and talents so this person will give you a chance give you a chance will help you out there's someone around you who will help you or you will meet this person, let's say it would be an interview, job interview. And this person who would be an interviewer would see your potential, would see your skills, would see, would sense your talents and will give you an offer, an opportunity to, to show yourself, to show what you got, so to say. And we have the eight of wands. Yes, there would be a relocation, that's for sure, or transition of some sort. I feel fast growth. Again, luck would be on your side with the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. A quick movement away from this very uncomfortable environment. Towards the star, you wish fulfillment. Healing as well. Peace, harmony. Elevation and uh, the devil and you will end the cycle of having these difficulties work related i feel it's about money or work and with the devil it feels like yeah this is the key to have this new beginning is to understand that you deserve more you're worthy of so much more you don't deserve this this kind of environment this kind of dynamic this kind of energy this treatment you don't deserve that and you don't have to to be there you don't have to suffer there you you can step away you can apply to a new place to a new position yes two of pentacles make a decision 
And with this, with this decision, you will open this new door for yourself. Just by applying to a new position, you already would shift your vibration. Because this step would be a step of self-love. This step would be a step towards your peace, your harmony, a better environment, a better treatment, appreciation as well. So make this decision. Make this decision. You deserve a better environment. You deserve a better position, a better situation. Compassion. Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Yeah, and I feel this is the advice to leave the situation without bitterness or anger. Release all that. Soften your heart with compassion. Know that these people have their own lives, their own experiences and their own path of growth. Take a higher standing. See it from a higher perspective. Be graceful. Step away without, again, reacting or responding the way they, they talk, the way they, they do things. Be higher than that. Be more than that. Because you are more than that. Much more than that. Step away. Make a decision to find something else for yourself. That would be the step towards self-love and you would be very, very lucky on that path. All right? This was your message, my darlings. Let me know how you, it resonates with your situation. If you like this message, please do consider to hit the like button to claim this wonderful unfolding with a wings emoji in the comments. My darlings, can, please do consider to subscribe you're very welcome within the space to share maybe someone will benefit from this message to hit the bell button so you will not lose me on your feed for the private guidance i do have my first channel dedicated to love readings link would be within the description box below and if you are interested in private guidance i do have all the info provided within the description box below as well as personal readings testimonials and feedbacks as well, I will link all decks I use in the description as well. So, my darlings, this is your message. Hold on there. Soon, everything would be changed and transformed. Make a decision to step away from this environment. You deserve so much more. So much more. But do not harden yourself, your heart, with bitterness or anger. Release all that and soften your heart with compassion. Step towards a new path, new chapter with optimism, with love within your heart, right? And with hope, all right? So, my darlings, this is your message. Thank you for being with me. I do send you lots of love. Bye. My precious, welcome, welcome, welcome. If your choice is this wonderful rose quartz heart, welcome. This is your message. This is your reading. Let me start with this oracle. So our theme is a special message from the universe, a message that you meant to receive right now. Let's see what will you receive. And of course, let me know in the comments if that would be your message, if the message would resonate, all right? So I will link all cards that I use within the description. So let's start with your message. Let's start with this oracle. And you have the garden and the gate. We have number 30. Could be age, could be date, could be some important number. And we have butterfly. As well, we have victory, 28. Six. We have six on the contract. Feels like the soul contract ended, karmic contract ended. You stepped away from something heavy and difficult. You are setting yourself free, garden and the gate. It feels like you're very close to open this door to get away from something. 
from a comfort zone. This zone might not be a comfortable one, but something that is familiar, something that you know, you adjusted your life to that, you adopted yourself to that environment. In some shape or form, this might be a safe environment, let's say you don't have to pay for a, a for rent or something, but feels like it's something that is limiting your growth and you are bigger than that right now and your path is not within this garden. Your path is outside of this garden. And very soon you will have an opening to shift yourself from this place, from this space, and that would be a path towards your victory, right? Path towards your victory. Because there is a new contract that is past due for some of you, if that might be, <laughs> I don't know. But feels like there's something that is kind of on hold for you to be ready to step away from this garden. There is another soul contract that is pulling you in. And I feel for many of you, this might be a relationship, romantic relationship, soul contract. All right, let's dive a bit deeper. And romantic relationship, because we have the rose quartz heart, and it feels like that connection holds the potential to be victorious and successful with this victory card. So let's see what else we will get. As well, we have Leos. Leos here with this victory energy. We have Nine of Wands. It feels like you're fighting the last battle, the last one, and then there would be a release. It's like she a few steps away from this gate. And she is focused on the butterfly, which is the sign for transformation. So it's coming to an end. You're a few steps away from this opportunity, offer, a way out. And that would be the path towards a victory, especially victory within your love life. And that might be a successful relationship that would lead to marriage, that would lead to alliance partnership successful one you know based on love respect trust loyalty and so on and so forth so you're very very close to this gate and i feel it's an offer of something opportunity what else we have that yes that's for sure that is what i was feeling ten of cups and the rose quartz heart it's an opportunity to meet your future spouse romantic partner spouse, romantic partner, divine counterpart. And if this is not something that you're interested in, this might be an opportunity to elevate your domestic life. Let's say an opportunity to buy a new house or to, to relocate to a new place or to start a new business. So for all of you, this would be the path towards some victory within your life. And we have, yes, two of cups. Look at this, guys. You cannot make this up. For many of you, for many of you, it's an opportunity to meet your romantic partner. Again, the contract. Do you remember? You have a person and you have contract with this person, with the soul. And you're supposed to meet this person in the future. And this is why things will start to shift, I would say, by the end of this month. Doesn't matter when you watch it, by the end of the month you are watching this reading, things will start to shift because you have to exit this gate, right? You are two steps away from this exit, right? And we have the chariot on the bottom, which is an opportunity to move forward very quickly, whatever that is, guys. For different people, this offer opportunity would mean a different thing. Let's say you're working within one firm, right? And you will receive an offer to relocate to another city where your firm has a bigger office. So within that a place, you will have a better position, let's say, right? Or something like that. So it might be an opportunity to go higher within your career for someone else it might be i don't know an inheritance 
and you will relocate to a new place. So you will surround yourself with new people, a new environment. Again, for different people, it will mean a different thing, a different offer, a different opportunity. But for all of you, it's an opportunity towards fast growth, towards victory and success. And for all of you, there would be needs of some transition. I feel it's a physical transition in the form of travel or relocation. Because look, we have fields behind these gates. We have fields. So it feels like she will need to walk a lot to get to uh, some place, some other destination. So I feel for some of you, it would require air travel. And we do have the chariot as well. So guys, let me use this oracle. Let's see what else we will get for you. Okay, so we have Archangel Oracle. My darlings, if you resonate with this message, please do hit the like button. And let's connect with this offer, with the victory emoji in the comments. Something gold related because this victory is filled with gold colors. All right. So let's see what else you have here. You have Beloved One. I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Yes, you guys. This is a spiritual soulmate relationship. You have a soulmate. You have some special person. You might not know them. You might know them. Right? And feels like this is what's ahead of you. A soulmate connection. A relationship. A marriage with this person. A successful relationship. Filled with love. Appreciation. Gratitude. Honesty. Great experiences, beloved one. And someone is helping you. I feel someone who passed away, beloved one. Someone you loved very, very dearly. From the other side, this spirit, this soul is helping you to receive this opportunity, offer, to have this change in your life. And we have hello from heaven. Yes, this is what I was feeling, guys. I just love... I just love when cards are matching the, the reading. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel the loving blessings. Yes, there's someone. You are connecting to this person. You are connected to this person. It's the person who passed away. The soul, the spirit, this person's spirit is helping you to get this opportunity. Because look, they are aware of the soulmate contract. It's supposed to happen. It will happen. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can change it. Yes, there might be some delay, but for a reason, for a purpose. Again, nine of wands. You're two steps away from that, from that offer. And you will exit this gate. And there would be most likely an air travel, as I told you. Because look, we have the bird. And you will need to cross some distance. You see fields, mountains. The worst is now behind you. And you are surmounting the, any previous challenges. Nine of Wands. This is the last battle. You are still standing. Don't lose hope. Things are changing very quickly. You will have a change. Let's see what exactly would be this change. I, I just, I'm just curious, guys. I'm just curious what that would be. Nine of Pentacles feels like... And the wish, your wish will come through. Nine of Pentacles, I feel... A stable income or a big sum of money that would sit nicely in your bank. So you will feel grounded, protected, safe. So the foundation would be strong, right? So you would be able to create this change without worry, without dropping into survival because of the fear of not... Um, having enough, right? So there would be comfort. You will feel safe. You don't need the survival state, right? To 
open this opportunity for yourself. And this is why we had a delay. Because look, if you would move too soon, you wouldn't be in a state of um in a state of stability and uh, surviving or receiving because the survival is not on that level this is why you had a delay of some sort right so your wish is coming through you are receiving some foundation inheritance offer some stable income if it's a business that we have here and you will step away air travel right and there would be this wonderful connection on the other side of this change wow guys what a message what a message all right my darlings this was your message please do consider to hit the like button if you do resonate with this message if you like that message and let's connect with the victory and success energy with gold emoji in the comments my darlings please do consider to share maybe someone will benefit from this reading to subscribe you're very welcome within the space don't forget about the bell button so you will not lose me on your feet i'm so happy that you got this message i'm just i'm just, I'm just <laughs> you know feeling it feeling it oh congratulations guys may you always be blessed and by the way if you are interested in private guidance i do have all the info provided within the description box below as well as personal readings testimonials you're very welcome to take a look and if you are into love and relationships readings i do have my first channel dedicated to that theme you're very welcome to take a look all right my darlings this is all that i have for you i do send you lots of love and i am so happy that you got this message i'm so happy I thank you for being with me and bye.